I can understand why they thought the end of the world was coming. Because there was one sign of the apocalypse last night. The Cubs won a playoff game. The Cubs have won a playoff game. Overnight, the Chicago Cubs snapping their losing streak in epic fashion, winning their first playoff baseball game in a dozen years. Fans taking to the streets in celebration. Woo! That's right! The Cubs are headed to the National League Division Series. Cubs fans were so excited, they drunkenly ran through the streets. And when they heard the team won, they continued to do so. <laughs> and folks, it's a pretty big deal for me. Sure, I love New York, but I, I lived in Chicago for 11 years. And the Windy City, Windy City will always be part of me. Specifically, my lower intestine that is still packed with a fair amount of sausage. <laughs> and the Division Series is important. It's like the World Series of things that eventually might lead to the World Series. <laughs> this means the Cubs are still in contention. It has been 107 years since the Cubs won the World Series. To put that in perspective, Back then, the song went, Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to I've got cholera. <laughs> they added the Cracker Jacks later <laughs> when they found out that cured cholera. <laughs> but most importantly, last night's victory might mean the Cubs have finally escaped the curse of the Billy Goat. Now, for those of you who don't know, the curse of the billy goat began in 1945 when a tavern owner brought his goat to Wrigley Field for the World Series because everyone knows goats love baseball. <laughs> and when they were thrown out, the man declared, you are never going to win the World Series again because you insulted my goat. <laughs> and ever since then, the Cubs have suffered from the curse of the goat, as well as the curses of bad management and unwillingness to pay for good players. In fact, in fact, the curse is so legendary that a few weeks ago, in order to reverse the curse, a team of competitive eaters ate a 40-pound goat. Somehow, still more healthy than eating ballpark nachos. But now it looks like the days of the curse are behind my Cubs. Sure, technically they still need to win 11 more games over the course of three more best of series. But I think I can safely say, without any fear of jinxing it, they're going all the way. The Cubs are going to win the World Series. Yeah, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I'm not scared of you knuckle-kneed sheep wannabes anymore. Oh, that feels good. So many things I've wanted to say about your kind for years. But I've been too scared of because of the curse. Not anymore. First off, your cheese sucks, okay? <laughs> you can get the same flavor by leaving a brick of Philadelphia cream cheese to dry out. <laughs> Secondly, nice beard. Soul patches went out in the 70s. Ooh. Oh, that burn's got to feel pretty bad. <laughs> what are you going to do about it, goats? Curse the Cubs again? I dare you. The Cubs are unstoppable. I've even, I've even already got my 2015 Cubs World Series championship shirt all printed up. Woo! Let's hear it for the Cubbies! Woo! Woo! Hey, that, that guy isn't celebrating. Who's that guy not celebrating? Kick him out of here. You kick him out of here. I don't care if he has a ticket. You get out of here right now. No. No, you get out and go Reddits. There is no possible way this decision can come back to haunt me or the Cubs. After all, the Chicago Cubs are clearly the greatest of all time. <laughs> Let's hear for the Cubs. Go, 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 go. We'll be right back. Go, 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 go.